probably the last couple of years we've been doing art together. We started off doing like market stalls and just progressed from there. Um, and art's always been a part of our life from our little kids and we grew up going to our uncle's exhibitions and they'd always come around with artwork and show us and we'd always sort of paint with them and um, they sort of, yeah, basically taught us the basics of Aboriginal art and we've just sort of ran with it. One main one, my uncle Dennis Kickett, and he goes by the name Nungali and he took a real interest in us and started getting us into galleries and painting in the galleries in front of people and just getting us to progress. Traditionally in the sand drawings, it's always been from an aerial view to teach people of areas and locations and animal tracks and everything. And we've just incorporated that onto canvases. And that was basically handed down from our uncles. And we just sort of went with what they've taught us and created our own style. To start with, we used to walk the area and have a look. Um, now we've got drones and we send drones up and take photos. And we do our paintings from the images that we get from our drones. Well, we met Andy uh, probably last year and we just sort of been in contact a little bit and always mucking around together and stuff um, and when he came to do it last year I think he did a project here and then he decided to get us on board and, and join him. So today is about exposing students to different techniques with our two local uh, Noongar artists uh, that are helping them to uh, develop uh, different styles in uh, creatures that are coming from the story The Creators of Everything, which is going to be the inspiration for our mural. Uh, the students have been super excited about this because they're getting out of the classroom and getting uh, help and assistance from people who work in uh, the real world as artists, so it's super exciting for the students. We got a um, sheet that explained the story of this culture in Western Australia. So we went through that and that gave us a clear idea or vision for what we want to do for this artwork. So a few other classes, they came for us and they did mountains or um, the lake. Yeah, me, Stella and Adelaide got chosen to do the snake and we've had to come up with our own sort of idea on how we wanted to do the scales and stuff. And yeah, it's really fun. I think it's a really good opportunity for them to work in a collaborative way, both with their peers and with artists. They don't get many opportunities to work outside of your typical classroom arrangement, which is very much focused usually on one person, one student at a time. So then being able to explore the full process of creation um, and to learn some new techniques in the process of painting is really exciting for me. Having professional artists come in and teach us is a really good opportunity because we get to express our ideas in different ways and collaborating with our students is a great way to work on this culture and bring it all together. I've never really done like a collaboration thing with like any of the other classmates. It's really fun. Actually seeing the collaboration is really nice because we've done like, it's different to writing a collaborative essay in class with compared to art class because you can actually see the work. By having a one year group do the base, they got to learn a different technique than what we got to learn, which was the water and getting really hands on. But then we also got to come into this class and learn how to do the lino and printing, which are all different skills. I think they get excited and a little bit nervous as well, but I think it helps once they get involved, they loosen up a bit and relax and then they I find they get a lot out of it through being more involved. You can see how it really represents the land and everything. The circles represent the mountains. Green and the earth colours like green, blue, grey or um, deep blues represent the trees and the nature. With the mountains it's more of like pinks and purples and oranges or like a skin colour tone. You get to experience a whole range of different techniques and sort of build on the skills that we learned from last year and the year before that. It'll be so cool to look at and just be like, oh, oh, I'm a part of that, I contributed to that, yeah, definitely. And it's all coming together really well. I think it's really important for students to be exposed to different ways of creating and uh, different processes. The thing about arts or visual arts is there's so many different ways that you can create things. When somebody's already done something, you can add to it by doing different colours or different, doing different strokes and things like that. You can learn like, different techniques of painting. I like 
was that when I got to blend and draw a lot of things. And I liked um, how they taught us how to draw everything. Like that the serpent snake, instead of it being like a skinny snake, it had a really fat part in the middle. Yeah, it's interesting because like you can learn different techniques to do it, like dot painting or just it's just, just storytelling, yeah. tell stories as well. This is awesome to have this sort of stuff happen. Um, like especially being able to take time out of our normally our normal school schedule, being able to do this instead of that is a lot of fun, and I'm really happy to be here. There's certain techniques that have happened where they've had the multiple sticks together, and just the way that they've actually put the paint down is uh, a very different pattern than I've ever seen before. I thought, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's interesting. And, um, and I was like, oh, okay, we need to sort of spread that across the canvas a bit more. And so you move the student who's done that around. And yeah, it's, uh, it's again, not knowing the rules of how we do it has come up with new and different things. It's really fun and interactive as well with working with the whole class on such a big project. Um, that definitely brings everyone together for a bit of fun, which is great. Yeah, New Nicole has been excellent. Um, lots of support from all the teachers. The children have been awesome. They've taken real ownership of the artwork they're doing. Even so, they come back and taking photos of it and they're really taking an interest and in getting really involved. By doing through different year groups really helped us to kind of like bring together this big, like amazing piece and this big memorial that we've done. It's been a really good experience. The kids have been fantastic. Um, they've taken real ownership of the piece. Um, they've probably done about 98% of it. Uh, we just mainly guide them, show them a little bit of the, um, the techniques and just let them have free reign and they've just loved it and gone right into it. And I can't believe we actually completed the piece in the two days we were here and um, even they even kept on coming back taking photos of it and it just shows that they've taken ownership of it and they're proud of it. A lot of people will tell you what you should do and we got to where we are by not listening to them and doing what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it so we had our own unique thing. Um, everybody has advice for you, so pick the good stuff and then do what you feel is best. Don't follow anybody, just do your own thing and stick to it. I really like the fact we had Andy um, here as well to do a bit of the print workshops as well as doing this, the work with us. Um, it really shows a, a contemporary side to artwork as well. Um, a lot of people think of Aboriginal art as something traditional and something that's very sacred and has to be done in a specific way, but um, in turn, we can we can create more contemporary versions, and um, having Andy in here doing the print as well as what we did here today really showed that. 